Hey guys, welcome back to American Adventure Lab. As you can see, today was a pretty hectic day. So today we unloaded our new laser and our press brake and all of the accoutrement that goes along with it. So follow along and we'll show you how that went down. guys so we have the press brake coming in now uh, we have all sorts of rigging uh, cranes forklifts uh, little dollies uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting and a slow moving process but hopefully we'll get it in here sometime today Been waiting on this for I don't know 15 years. <laughs> Today's the day. All right, so what you see behind us is our new six kilowatt fiber laser from Mitsubishi. This machine and the press brake was a result of about two years of me researching lasers, visiting laser companies, trying to figure out what was good for us, you know, what would be good, you know, five, six years down the road in the future. And this is what we came up with. Some special things about this machine that I really like. Uh, it has what they call AI built into it, which lets us sort of uh, get a picture of what's on the table, move nests around. The key thing there is we're gonna jump in and do an iteration in between a production run and barely even check up with the production run. So the idea is that we still run the business as a lab, even though we're a pretty high volume shop after these things come online. All right, so this is the chiller. So this is what basically keeps the laser cool while it's cutting. Uh, this will probably live back here behind the laser, maybe on the ground, maybe up top. We're still playing with that a little bit and see how that works best. All right, so here's our press brake. Uh, we have fully independent back gauges. Um, we have one touch clamps. Uh, one cool thing that you can't see yet. So up here, we'll have a, basically a video and projector system uh, that shines everything onto this plate right here. Uh, it will measure your hand movements. You'll be able to change settings up here, uh, spin the model around. It'll show you which dies need to go and which punches need to go in which location. Uh, it shows the profile of the punch, super cool. Should make setup and tear down really fast for each individual stage bin. So I'm pretty excited about that guy. Uh, over here is our dust collector. This guy will eventually live outside. Uh, we have to build sort of a rooftop over that and get this outside and our compressor. Um, one thing that you can't see, which I'm pretty excited about, we'll have a mezzanine built on top of the laser. Up there will be our compressor system. Uh, 2100 PSI air pressure. 
So we'll cut all of our aluminum and possibly some of our other metals uh, with air. So save a lot of money on gas, uh, be very efficient. So excited about that piece. Uh, stepping around here, these are some of the other little pieces that are involved in setting up the laser. Uh, so these are our little scrap trays that roll underneath. Uh, this is some of the cabling and hoses that connect everything together. So January 5th, we should have our uh, compressor will show up. Uh, then around February, uh, January 15th, the Mitsubishi team is coming on site to set everything up, get everything leveled, and start a little bit of training. So hopefully end of January, early February, we're making our own parts in-house and uh, the sky's the limit at that point. So stick around if you want to see how that goes. Should be a really entertaining story.